Let's go for the funny looking druid. There he is. This is our boy. We're going to send the funny looking druid out. He's got potion of invulnerability, basic boots, furball claws, and money talks. Ooh. Okay, let's go over to the left. Seismic slam, that's like a shockwave type ability. At once. Fresh. I'm awake. Defense. I'm awake. Of course. He can rejuve himself for a massive amount of hit points. Raw comes in later, and Feral Rage is more late game. So there's some towers. There's no AI yet to fight. I wasn't sure if I was going to buy any early game items. At best, the Star for Teleportation, if that's available. Let's see where that be. Not here, that's for sure. You can buy Mercs. Where's the Star for Teleportation? There it is. Okay. That's the one we want. Let's see their send off now. Okay. Let's get that. Any mana pots? In the name of Scenarius. Where shall I strike? Let's staff in. Ooh, yes. Get yeah, a cheeky seismic slam off. I'm gonna use those knights fairly early though. Good luck actually being able to see anything here. I'm going to save up for a big Omega item, to be honest, because I can use my abilities to get a lot of the uh, um, sort of last hits and kills. She looks sad. That was nice. Thank you, Mick. Nice of popping off. Don't use the rejuve at the moment. Just go for seismic slam. back in a moment. I can get one more seismic slam and then I can relax. If we pop back over. My path King Aiden Perinold will heal us. He looks almost as funny as my druid. There's a secret shop up here, forest shop, and it's got some really nice items. Crown of the Kings is what we want, but it's like hyper expensive, like 21,000 gold if I remember. It's a lot of money. You need time to hit air. Do you though? Do you? We'll consider it. I can start the teleport again already. Oh well. I'm almost this close. Hang in there. You get a lot of experience from just hanging around in the fight, which is very beneficial. Still need a lot more damage from my uh, seismic slam. That's not there yet. That's better. The bear thing costs a lot of mana. I'm not sure 100% of it's worth casting yet, or just more seismic slams. I mean, maybe when I come back. Plus four to all stats as well. Right, I'll go back now. Of course. 
We can activate the bear thing when we go back in. It's going to use up all of my mana, though, practically. I think a faster boost of speed would be good as well, to be honest, but... I can't remember exactly where to get that. Ah, here we go. This Pegasus Sandals doesn't seem too expensive. That's plus 90 movement speed. He's got that cleave. Got to try to position him ideally for a nice cleave. Feral Rage is almost over. And then he go back. Rinse and repeat. It's got a very long cooldown though, this ability. My path is clear. I'm awake. I'm awake. So we got these sandals. Am I quicker now? I think I am. Yeah, I can get rid of the basic boots then probably. A lot of AI trying to sneak in here. It's kind of like a carrion swarm, but I don't think it hits air, so I think it is more like shockwave. It just looks like carrion swarm. The pressure is grande. You can see spells are quite strong in this at the moment. Because the pressure is so high, you can't really stay in a fight physically so easily. I'll come back for you guys at the bank soon. I may have to involve or rejuve myself. Hey, big daddy. Thank you very much, sir. Pretty good. One more. At least one more. Okay, that's you done. Back to base. Cheeky heal. Save up that cash. On this map, you can obviously go out and explore as well. You see all the red spots on the map, those are creeps and they'll drop some nice items, but you get so much pressure a lot of the time it's going to be focused on defending them, really. We'll have Bear Boy in 60 seconds, so I can either try to keep my mana available for 60 seconds, which is a long time. We'll see. Blood Elf Druid. That's it. Blood Elf Druid of the Claw. Do you like the Blood Elf Druid? Make sure to like the video if you like Blood Elf Druid of the Claw. Alright. we got enough mana. I don't know. Feral Rage. Is it worth it? I can always do another Star for Teleport back after a few more. I think we should do the Shocks. Whilst we still can. Get those out of the way. Min-max that. That looks nice to shoot. There we go. Oh, here comes the air. Of course. Ten K. The Dwarf Relic. Where? Good question. Good question there, SGM. Your shop.
If we had the flying machine and send it over here, does that discover that area so we can portal? Otherwise, we're going to have to run over there manually. Also, I don't know where... Oh, that Balador, Balador. Dwarf Relic, Avatar, 12k. Yeah, I don't need that at the moment. That's good to protection for later, sir, though. Our forces are under attack. This Balador shop. Plus a hundred to all stats. Ring of power. That is a lot. I'll leave my bear to do what he's going to do. Ring of power looks alright. A thousand damage. Yeah, some of these items are actually really sick. I think the Ring of Power. Target, you can teleport, you get extra movement speed. Oh, I died. Okay, something hit me harder than I was expecting. That bear is really tanky, so whatever hit me is some sort of boss type character, probably. He's a really tanky bear. Until he isn't. That's what you get for looking at items whilst you're trying to do this. It is always the, uh, the peril of hero defense maps. Is trying to look up items and recipes whilst also not dying. It's always a bit of a conundrum. Oh, they got mana burn. Did you see that? Literally all of my mana gone. Oh, that's rough. I'm going to have to bounce back and forth. I'm awake. I'm awake. Oh, I'm awake. This might control the sound a little bit. Please don't mana burn me. Is, is he mana burn? He looks like he's going to mana burn me. He's coming for me, boys. Oh, I could have healed you as well. I hesitated because I thought you made it back safely, to be honest. Because you were going to come over here and heal. Had some sort of damage over time. I'm being tactical with my mana, to be honest with you. I'm not healing so much right now. Just in case you want to get upset at me. Upset at me for it. What are you picking, Chichov? Is that the Cleave Hero or something? You need a way to use spells to get kills at the start. Crit's not going to do anything at the start until you get crazy good items. Crazy good stats. You're going to have to wait a while then, because I've got to build up my character to God Mode. Which is the, the point. And then he can hold, because otherwise we're just going to die anyway. We have played this map before, and basically I had this character like really good shape. But I gave too much of my gold away to help others. And then I wasn't strong enough to hold off against like the really strong waves that come later. So I need kind of stupid amount of armor and stats and stuff, basically. So whilst it seems like I'm being selfish, it's for a good reason. I love the uh, the character models in this. Ah, uh, I'm starting to wonder if it's more expensive than twenty one thousand. To be honest, to get that item that's up there, I wish I could remember. It could be like a hundred thousand or something stupid. I hope it isn't, but. <laughs> the Savage Wolves! It looks like an upside down dog face or something. He's tanky because he's got like 800 health regen. So it's hard to take his health down unless something very special is whacking away on him. 
is in the portal at the base. I think it activates once you've got up there. So once someone's gone up there, then you can click on a portal that's like over here. So I might have to wait until my Feral Rage is on cooldown again and then like run up there and see if I can get up there. Because there's mobs that will try to stop you. But I need to wait until I've got over at least 21k gold and hope that's the right amount. But this map has so many good custom models, it's fantastic. It's got such an epic sort of Lord of the Rings vibe to it. 21.5k. I feel like it was. Oh, the staff didn't work correctly. Because he uh, teleported onto one of these towers. I wondered what would happen. Give me AS buff when you're in furry mode. Okay, but I might not be using it. You might want to save it for someone else. Because I might be using it. If I get enough gold, I might just be going in 100 seconds time to the here. To unlock the shops. So then we can get up there. Because that's what I'm going to use my next feral furry form for. I mean, you can buff me if you want, and I can maybe try to fight the mobs on the way, but I'm figuring that they might be too strong, and it's better if I just run past them. Yeah, buff Chichoff or something. He wants the, uh, he wants the buffs. 219 mana. I could stick around for one more. Give it six seconds. We're getting Brilliant Sora from, uh, our friend Kartoff, who's almost dead. So, stick around... I'm pretty sure my seismic slam won't kill anything here, though. I need, like, another wave of mobs. Tarunda's on her way as well. Tarunda and Illidan working together. We're in trouble. Ah, they got Flower Dryad. Don't forget the Flower Dryad. There's the mana burn. Oh, lordy. Oh, lordy. Oh, lordy. Oh, lordy. I don't want to use my invol potion. I'm saving it. All right, I got 21k. Let's hope that's enough. I'm going to start moving up there. If not, then someone can give me 500 or 1,000 gold. I'm sure they can manage that. They'll be friendly enough to do that. It's time to unlock the shop. Like the video if you enjoy locking, unlocking the shop. Oh, thank you, Kartoff. That will definitely cover me, I'm sure. Okay, 13 seconds. Well, there's a troll axe. Oh, I should have maybe dropped some items, because you're probably going to find... Ah, oh, never mind. I'll just drop them on the ground. It's too late to go back. See, look, there's just some items. But they're kind of trash items. But still, 1,000 gold. Right. Fairy form in a moment. Oh, someone's already cleared this, have they? Oh, SGN's doing it. I wonder what was going on there. He's trying to go for the special items you get from creeping. Go, go, go. I'm okay at the moment, Kartoff. I'm just trying to unlock this shop. Yeah, you can do some creeping. You don't want too many people creeping, though. You get the best items from creeping, but... Play with you last... Oh, my God. Look at that damage. Holy... Oh, my God. Good thing I had that invol part. I'm not sure I'm going to make it all the way up. There's maybe one more mob. No, we're good. We're good, we're good, I think. There we go. We've made it. Congratulations. All right. There we are. Crown of Kings. That's the one I wanted. Boom. 21k. Just 121 to everything. Sweet. That'll do it. We've got to get more of those, by the way. I'm not really stopping at that, but... The Brilliant Sora did support a little bit, so I could get another spell off. I'll probably have to get an orb as well, thinking about it, just so I can hit air. Get the orb from over here. Get an orb of frost, maybe. Sometimes I like the minus armor orb more, but 
I think the Orb of Frost could be more tactical first as the bosses to slow down their attack speed, which would help defensively. I can tank a bit better now. I've maxed out the Seismic Slam. With all the stats, it helps with your basic mana regeneration with intelligence. So you can do like the rejuve more often as well. Without too much punishment. The thing with the creeping is... It's kind of better to do it once your character's like much stronger. Like my character's in a pretty good spot to go around creeping, but even then I'd probably want to save up another 21k for another crown of emperors, and then you unlock the items. These ancient chimeras are a bit annoying. Creeping gives you gold, it gives you items, gives you experience, yes. But you also get a lot of experience just defending and gold. So it's kind of balanced. The best thing about the creeping is like the special, more special items. But in theory, I haven't fought that much further ahead, other than just getting mass crown of emperors. There was one other item I wanted to get from here. I, I remember getting it last time. They got tomes. Just double checking. That's intelligence. That's agility. That's strength. That's teleport and return plus 10 stats, but I can get the more expensive one version of that. What this is, veteran paladin, attack damage of 500, fire, mana regeneration, strength. Yeah. I'm not seeing anything too special from that that I want. Then there's the 125 to all stats. Definitely. Oh, that was it. The life steal. Yeah, you need the life steal one, and then multiple crown of kings, I think. Oh, and one warlord sword, which is attack damage, but it's a crit chance. So that could be worth it. As for this, if I need to specifically get more armor, if I can't get it from stats, then that could be the way to go. That's increased movement speed to the attack speed cap. That's hit points, that's armor, that's like loads. The Raven set gives you a lot. But for now, it's definitely going to be building up multiple crown of kings, I think. Our forces are under attack. Our allies' town is under siege. I will Yeah, agility, all the agility I get from the 100 stats, 125, should also give me some extra armor. So there's a couple of extra items, at least, that I definitely want. The crit and the lifesteal, and then maybe this for the movement speed cap, but it's good all-round stats, but not super specialized otherwise. Alright, bear form, let's go. Go big old bear. You got to deal with these annoying flying units as well. They're pretty strong when they stack up. Got an Illidan do to deal with. Let's go, Illidan. I can't actually attack him whilst he's got the uh, any shield of protection. He's basically invulnerable when he's got that. Look at the health on take. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Need to attack my own units there. Lost head and back. Yep, see? Even with all that. But we got another 10k, and we can get another crown of the emperors. The sell back's not too bad. 1575 when it costs you 21k. Pretty reasonable. There's a lot of air, although it looks like spells are doing well versus air. I can't defend versus air very well because it's just single target. Oh lordy. They do be getting angry. Maybe I can kill her. 
Oh. Brutal. Oh my god, look at all the air over here. Why does it throw so much air at you? My seismic slam doesn't hit air, unfortunately. They're so crazy how strong they are. This is the base we have to defend as well. They're getting closer. Oh. Nice. You're actually doing some damage to him. Got a rejuve on you. So close to killing him. Nice. I think the base stole the kill. Oh, I see. That does 2,600 range. That might have been what was doing it. Can we give him 300 gold? Okay. Goes up in 200 gold elements. This is why you get all the stats, because the bear form is going to benefit from it. And as you level the bear form up, it gets a short cooldown, so 90 seconds, and then this probably lasts for about... How long? It doesn't say, does it? it? Lasts for 40 seconds. So it's 50 seconds downtime. Speaking of Lord of the Rings. Someone was a big fan. That bloody tree is so tanky. I'm going for the flower dryer. She's mine. Oh, you have a different hero, Chichoff. You didn't pick the same one, I don't think. The last one he picked, I think it was a cleave hero. Oh, is this the same one? Oh, dear. Didn't you have cleave for the other one? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Time for another, another dip with the crown of kings. The double crown of kings. See, this could be, for example, a fairly good time, if it's quiet enough, to go and kill some creeps for some items to then sell them, etc. I'm going to keep pushing, though. Because last time I did do something similar to that, and that's when we kind of died. So I'll keep pushing that up and try to give us as much space as possible. I really need that bear form, though. Need to stack them up. It's 
gonna run out soon and get one more building down. It's a shame Illidan decided to turn up after. Hmm. I did try to rejuve you there, but it cancelled it. Basically out of mana here. I'll stand up against Illidan a little bit, or kill the Keeper of the Grove. Are you talking to me? Didn't even notice. No, you need, this is what I mean, you need a crazy amount of uh, kings. Ah, oh, the teleport thing didn't go off again. That means I might be dead. The life steal is nice, but you got to remember the amount of mana I'm losing as well. My mana is still doing damage to these mobs, the seismic slam. So we always want to be casting spells anytime I'm not doing that. And then you transition to the life steal later on auto attack, because the bear form still isn't down to its quickest form. Yeah, that'll be helpful. Chichov begging for gold. Seems this Illidan is quite strong. Yeah, I know. That's a difficult choice you're going to have to make, Kartoff. Probably end up dying and having to redo this. No, don't put it on me. <laughs> Alright, gotta get there for me, Illidan now. Let's go. He's insane, Illidan. Oh, he did that involve thing again. We got him now, boys. He only gets 1,600 gold. <laughs> Considering how bloody strong he is. Alright. If we can get another building down, that might be nice. There's two defensive structures. I don't know what the dangerous plant is. It's not very dangerous. Yeah, his ultimate is really, really long. I have to get level 51 to get it down to a 90 second cooldown. On the bright side, there'll be another Crown of Kings soon. Because the life still is nice and all, but you don't desperately need it until you have to basically defend by the castle. Because I can always just teleport back and get full health and mana from the circle of healing. So this is why I go for stats, because they're going to do damage. Nice. Chandra's army rise in four minutes. Yeah, that's kind of concerning. Any way we can stop that? Or make it so she doesn't arrive with so much of an army? We've got a good push game. It's a crazy detailed hero defense. There's so much going on. Kill the trees. 
Yeah, I'm working on it. I'm getting a little bit blasted though. The Druid Thunderhawk form. Like, imagine that. If Warcraft 3 was a more popular game or more modern game, this would be like a skin that you could buy. Okay, we got the bear form. I can do some damage. Let's run in. Find another building. There's a tree of ages. This guy I'll do. I'm moving well slow though. He's tanky boy. He looks like he doesn't trust you. This tree of ages. Hey. I should be attacking the tree of ages. Is this their last base? I don't know. Maybe it's over there. I'm getting in a bit of a pick warning here. Okay. I'm going to go back. I'll see you later. I can get another crown. You know I need it. Actually, I only need 500 gold or something. Our time is short. Of course. Take your time. Quick. Our time is 600 gold, fast. There you go, thank you, sir. Right. Give you money back, cart off, that's nice. Unless you're desperate. Maybe I'll hold on to it. X to the D. Dips. I got look good armor, 46.9 now from all this plus 400. So yeah, with the plus 400, you're basically capped on like the attack speed and stuff like that. start using the raw now. Why not? It gives me two bonus armor. we still got only a minute until she arrives and these mobs are hella tanky. And there's another Illidan. I think I'm going to have to save. Mm, this might be available if I use it on cooldown. Going straight on this level 32 guy. Oh my god, they're almost gonna kill me. I gotta kill them first. I am just about staying alive here, even with all of these crowns. Twenty-one seconds until she arrives. Got to go. I'll see you later then, Carl. Give all your gold to Chichoff or something. He's gonna abandon us like eight seconds before Chandra arrives. Oh, I see. I'm kind of stuck, to be honest. Oh shit. She's only level 2. If we gather up, don't give her any experience. For the love of God, do not die. What the fuck? Whoa, no. Fuck, it's me dying. It did that thing again where the staff didn't work. I wondered for a second. I was trying to tell someone else there, but it was me. Oh, no, no. oh shit. Now she's level 6. Oh, shit. You got one job. Don't die. The last thing we need is her fucking getting stronger. Someone TP'd on me, did they? Oh, for fuck's sake. If you're going to TP up, don't TP to, like, the top spot. Just TP close to it. 
I'm going to try to focus her, but I get the feeling she's probably going to heal all the damage I'm doing. I can't really kill her until I've got bear form. Maybe if I get, like, lifesteal item next. I don't like this. How much was the lifesteal item? Because I could go back and get it. I want to get a bit more gold. 14k, is that it? Where it be? Oh yeah, it was. Okay. Well, gonna have to ditch one of these items. Or the frost at the moment. Oh fuck. Maybe the movement speed. I like the movement speed, but shit. What can you do? Oh, he's so slow. I may as well just wait until fucking staff for teleportation becomes available. Thank you. At the moment, yeah, I'm not buying any more items. I can try to cleave onto her with all those mobs. Jesus, look at the damage I'm taking. No! I can't even stand it. What the hell is that? What was that? Okay, this is super rigged. What was that? I mean, I've done everything as I can to be as efficient as possible at, like, min-maxing my character. I don't know. I can re... There's obviously going to be one hero that's, like, stupidly strong then. I sent you money. Making out as if no one sent him anything. I did. I sent him money. Yep, I sent you 600. He said no one sent you anything. I'll look for the Dreadlord then next time, shall I? I might do some creeping next time or something, I don't know. I'm sick of defending. Soap Zero looks strong. This bear is too much of a long cooldown. Mask doesn't work, maybe. Yeah, you're right. Probably doesn't work with the Orb Frost. Yes, Sean, this she's level 27. 19 seconds until bear form. Oh wait, she's getting entangled by something. That's doing like way more damage than anything else has done. Uh oh, I'm taking a lot of damage now. Let's go, Justin. Let's go. Live a bit longer. Live a bit longer. Ah. Oh. That's your ult. Well, your ult's really good, because it's actually doing something to her. I almost got Malfurion. Shit map. Alright, let's have a look for this Dreadlord. Tell me when you spot him. Does he look custom? Does he look something not like... Ah! There he is. He's an angelic dreadlord. 
Dreadlord Gone Good. Senadar the Convert. Divine Edict. Lay on Hands. Holy Attack Aura. And Summon Lightforged Golem. Which has 6,000 hit points. Makes me wonder if it's worth buying... There's no tomes to give you experience. So you definitely want to want to get some experience fast at the start. I think if we have the boots just to get around, that'd be nice. Nice and quick. So we don't have to worry about movement speed. Can buy the staff a teleport as well. Has it begun already? So let's start off with the first one. It says AoE damage. A full heal but drains the mana. Okay. And a holy attack aura. Okay, that comes later on. Divine Edict. Blast an enemy. Let's try. So it basically blasts a specific mob and then does AoE damage. Units have their movement and attack speed slowed. Okay. Looks like it's going to need some work to get that delicious damage. Keep working on it. Almost got that druid. Ah, <laughs> oh, he got sniped. Sad. Hey, I got something. So it does 175 damage to the target and 75 holy. And that's level 2. Doesn't seem like it's been buffed very much. As soon as we get level 6 though, that should be interesting to see what the ultimate can do. So if I teleport over here and go to the right and then try to do some green creeps or something and see if the ultimate can carry a little bit first with the creeps. That could be a way to do it. You can repick your hero if it's trash. Waiting on that level 5. Whoa, look at that. 24 gold. Now we're talking. Oh, I forgot about the money talks thing. Oh, I can use that when I go down below. I'm going to snipe these beautiful archers. Look at that massive damage. Oh my gosh, the tower. Oh lord. Ah! Well done, the who dares? Flower Dryad. I'm so close. Give me level 6. I want to get level 6 and then I'll go back. Look how close I am to level 6. Level 6 is but, but a moment away. Oh, there we go. That will do it. Whoever's ability that was. Right. Let's sell this. Let's sell that. that was my plan. And let's go on a little journey. Very well. I'm heading down here. Woodstone hire the mercenaries. That could be good. A little micro with the mercenaries. You thought of that? Agreed. That was my plan. Our allied Very power well. is under siege. Right, let's try these guys. Oh, okay. Oh. So the Light Forge Golem has abilities. Sacred Storm, if he doesn't get stunned. He's got Holy Blast. That one seemed good, like Cluster Rockets. Holy Slam. And Lay on Hands. Can full heal one ally. This ability drains the light golem and he's only able to cast it once per summon. Okay. He's bloody slow though. Oh, it's because he's got slow. 
X to the D. Sacred Stormy. That's got to be um, Flame Strike. What do you think of my uh, Light Forge Golem? You impressed? Model's good. That's true. Golem's still going. If I level up one more time, I can use Lay on Hands on the Golem. And then he can carry on creeping. He can have upgraded damage. I don't know where I've got to buy that from, though. If I want to buy that at all. Use your summon. Oh, yeah. Thank you for the reminder. Summons are out. Crazy looking crossbowman. To be fair, the golem is going to kind of deplete anyway. This is like a different game now. How am I team killing? This is your opportunity now. I'm doing something different. You got to do your job. Don't depend on me to do everything for you. Complaining no matter what. I spent the whole game defending last time. The wolf dropped something, did he? I need to pay attention then. Too busy getting complained on. We're trying to unlock the gold mine. Hey, that's my wolf thing. Look at these little cheeky beggar. These little pack horse stealing all the items. Forge Golem needs some help. I must hunt. Free. Free. Three hundred mana, though. Mm. Fudu Hunter. Go get my own pack horse then. Level 15 until the next. The Light Forge got him though, man. He's uh. I must hunt He's uh, not doing that much damage. Do you guys know how to upgrade damage? Of summons. Can you stop stealing everything? Yeah, we got it. Jesus, he's complaining, and now he wants 3,000 gold. No more complaints then from you. Gotta care for those horses, actually. Where's the gold mine? 
There's gold mines down here. We'll keep fighting our way. Yeah, if you go down this way, maybe. That might be blocked, I don't know. Oh, hello. There's something up here you have to kill for the gold mine. Hmm. Maybe you're right. This granite golem's a bit, bit of a pickle, really. Look at the cooldown on that lay on hands. <laughs> oh, I was just about to use his lay on hands. My bad. This has got out of hand. Need food badly. Red Lord doesn't seem super strong, to be honest with you. I think items are still going to be better than tomes, probably for the cost. on that golem but he's not an easy character to fight because he's like immune get those piercing feathers baby That's the boulder. Nice stats. Oh lord. These has some damage. Woohoo! Sacrifice my golem. Uh, let's go up. I see if we can even really do it, but you know. What can you do? A couple of necromancers or something? Yeah, well maybe. So you got an upgrade on your units there. I must hunt soon. You don't know. It's automatic from the normal units. Uh, then how do I upgrade my Infernal? I'm pretty sure we're not going to be strong enough to unlock the gold mines. Holy crap, what the hell. All that we could maybe do, because it's a bunch of little mobs. Very simplistic hero, this one. Oh, now you're coming to steal. Look at that. I knew it. Didn't I? I caught it. That's right. Stolen. 
Oh. I need some mana. Oh my god, look at it. I just literally got you back. Wow, okay. Why did you say this hero was good? I guess he's good for providing the damage aura. But he doesn't do any damage with Divine Intellect. It's like 500 damage to a single target, 125 AoE. It's weak source. Maybe when it's maxed it's good. Oh shit, I'm dead. Jody. Go the old fashioned way. The night beckons. From that, that was my plan. Very well. Very well. You thought of that? For Dalaran. Greetings. For Cosmoron! Greetings. What? Need revenge. That was my plan. What is it now? I just have to keep running back and forth, I think, and doing divine edict. They got really they got the high ground there. Colin's back. He's not going to fail me this time. Jesus. What the hell? That's my ultimate. Makes me sad. I think our god was playing a different game. I don't think I can get past those. I must hunt soon. You thought of that? Greetings. Don't know, this guy can't do anything, can he, really? Was my plan. Agreed. What? What? Mortal. Very well. That was my plan. You thought of that? Very well. Agreed. You thought of that? Level 2. Oh, we're getting the next level on the golem. It's going to be good now. This could take a while. That was my plan. Our allied town is under siege. Agreed. You thought of that was my plan. How long do you think this will take? It's not even the big one yet. These are just the small mobs. I want to see what the next golem can do. I want to see what he's capable of. Try 
trust that he will have the power to shake things up. Bullshit. No. Leave me alone. He's getting his ass kicked with it. Hey, I'm going to get one. Tingo! You thought of that? You Four thought dollar. of that? Very well. Agree. That was my plan. plan. That was my plan. Agree. You thought of that? Very well. That oh, I got 562 for that one. The forest remembers. Greetings. What mortal? Very well. That was my plan. Our allies' town is under siege. Okay, I'll go back now. I'll get some levels. Greetings. Agreed. That was my plan. I think our god might be getting banned soon. I must hunt soon. You thought of that? There's a lot of big experience here, level 14s. That's more experience. The microphone peaked again, did it? Why? I think it's because I clipped it. Definitely makes more sense to get the experience. Well, that does work against air. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, he killed my golem. No. Oh, he's so squishy, the golem. One more.
You sunk my battleship. Right. Let's so. Oh my gosh. Where did I put them? There you are. Sneaky. You thought of that? Our allies town is under siege. Lord Dalaran. Greetings. Very well. Can I help you? I must hunt soon. Dovakin. Do you still have Balador's shop? Do we not have Balador's shop anymore? I had the ring. Because I was going to maybe buy that. What the hell? Seems strong. Oh. Well, I can't afford it now because I just spent all my money. Anyone got spare 10k? Jesus. That is a lot. I'll buy that stupid ring and then I got movement speed and that's set up. Okay, let's teleport. Well, not yet. I shouldn't need this then. My mission in this game is to get the gold mines. We're on a separate mission from the others. Stormhammer. Forest items suck dick at the moment. Use the towers. Oh, so much funny. Defeat the Ogre Lord. Well done. That was you, was it, Woodstone? I'm defeating the Troll Lord. He actually might well be the Troll Lord. Troll Lord. Boss's bloodlust, so it wants to keep standing still. Can't cast spells on it, of course. That would be too too much to ask for. It's working. Oh, 
You coming to steal my thunder now, Woodstone? After all this hard work has set up this creek camp. Just like a four versus four RT, I mean. Thanks for saving my dwarves from the trolls. To show our gratitude, our mining company will share its gold mines with you. There you go. So now we all get gold. So I was doing something for the team, even though you might have been suspecting that I wasn't. It's very much doing stuff for the team. Good guy, Witty. Does it again. That's good, isn't it? 250. You've got seven minutes till Chandra's arrives. That's quite a while, actually. Shame I can't pack up those towers. You just have to find, like, a good spot to put them so they can reach a bunch of the mobs, and then it's probably worth it. Those are the shit items. Orb of Ice. I don't even remember that one, but sure. I must hunt soon. That was my plan. Maybe we did just go pure strength tones for the attack aura. Because you can get the items from the creeps. At least this big guy can be killed. Doesn't really damage me too much. It's a cool unit model. I like it. Like most of the unit models in this game. It's the it's the OG. Yeah, if you went back and this was like a story campaign or something, this would be like the original mountain giant. The very first one would be like an ancient. Orb of imbalance. This has got a stun. Oh, we've pissed him off now. Oh. the Orb of Earth do. 325 bonus rock AoE splash damage. To the hit. Also become range when attacking King 20 eye. That seems very strong. What is it now? Agree. Our allies under siege. Gotta get rid of some of these weak ass items. Very well. I must hunt. Alright. Oh, is there any other good red spots to do? Need to find, like, the big lads. I thought there was a second one of those. That rock AoE is crazy. Ah. Uh, my horsey. Nature's amulet. Mana regen by crazy. I don't think we need that. These don't sell for as much, though, these items. They're very strong, but they don't sell for as much. Because otherwise you could get loads of money selling them as well. Oh, that's all. 
That's all you got. Why are they plus one? Cleared up the left. We got the gold mines popping off. Plus 15 gold ticks. It's very nice, isn't it? I'll try the right hand side. Tome shop up in the forest should have the tomes on sale. Oh, yeah. He's got the same cleave as the bear now. This one item. Was the Dreadlord OP after all? I'm scared to get another golem because he's probably just going to die straight away. I can wait till level 33 for the next golem. There he is. The Omega Golem. We're saved. Check out the power of the golem. Guess the crit item would be good. I can pop over and get that. Where would the Dreadlord go? There's some fun creeping. Oh, there's the horses. They reached their destination. Need to buy the lifesteal thingy. I'm not sure how they're going to get back to me though, very easily. You guys go up there. I'll just teleport. Just wait the 38 seconds, probably. Or you can run back. But he's basically finished, for the most part. You thought of that? That was my plan. Oh yeah, I could have bought the time so I can like, Let's just do this. There you go. That's a satisfied dread, dread light. Light dreadlord. Will it work on orbs? Probably not. I can drop the orb though. It's not that important. There we go. Where the Chandras? Oh, you get different heroes spawn down different lanes. Let's wipe this one out quickly. The quicker you wipe them out, the better, because they level up. There she goes. Breathe some life into my golem so it could live once again. Where the Chandras? Where she be? Let's teleport back to base. Maybe I should show both the episodes then, because it's different perspectives, isn't it? I think I will. I'll show both of them. So, because one was one was like staying in the lane and one was creeping. 
And they've both given sort of similarish results, because this guy's ended up really strong. He's got plus 1,100 damage. And look at all the stats. Oh, there's that weird spell that does like half your damage. Because why not? I'm stunned actually, I can't even move. Getting like 500 health back though per attack. Yeah, that's really strong. The aerial shackles. She can't do shit first, is that? That is her strongest counter. <laughs> Just stands. Is there one more? Are we good? Chandris returns in 10 minutes. There's got to be another base we need to kill. Maybe the one at the very top. Or you have to go all the way back into here. Oh my god, you do, don't you? Oh my god. It's, it goes on. I need one more item. Maybe the crit item. There's like a crit item over here. Where would it be? 26,000 gold. Okay, I can't afford it yet. That was my plan. Thank you. Close. This is like a splash AOE, 325, but it's not like cleave, in case you're wondering, because it wasn't like doing any bonus damage to that Priest of the Moon. So, it's not as good as cleave. Get the golem. Go, golem, go. Live, golem, live. You have so much more to give. And he's dead. was that with a cheeky cheeky spot of damage there some sort of spell it wasn't me He's got Klee, he's got Crit, he's got this 20 armor, 8,000 hit points business, Stone Hammer, Ring of Power, a Lifesteal, and the Agility and Strength. Speed run to the last boss. Ignore everything. Oh, that's some damage again with the nuke spell. This is going to take a bit. Unless Chichov can just blast in there and mirror image. 
solve all the problems. Yeah, that might be useful. The Ancient of Fairy. Where it be? Oh, that looks fun. Gotta get the golem out. Holy shit. I clicked the heal on myself, but it didn't quite go off. We'll get him next time. Ah, uh, you can't do that here, yake. Nope. It's action all the time on this map anyway, so no need. Helmet. From where? Oh, this one. That just got bought. Okay. I kind of want to do those again. Those look fun. I think if you press this button that says subscribe, it um, fast forwards. Takes a while to bust through this. At least uh, we got past Chandras now. I don't think there is a proper cleave item, is there? Gold. Hero stats by 50, attack damage by 75. It's alright, but it's probably not as good as any item as I have. The Orb of Earth might be a bit weaker now, but 8,000 health is insane. Looking for something to replace this, really. But it's 20 armor as well, actually. It's quite a lot. What can you give the man that has everything? Well, this you definitely don't need. Gollum, no, live, live another day. No. It's time for the fun one. Yeah, it's a good map, isn't it? There's lots to do in it. It's kind of like actually entertaining. 
If you enjoyed yourselves, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more quality content. I get my ass kicked. Get my ass kicked. Yes, I really am. Oh, I can't heal myself. I can only heal others. Man, this hero sucks. No wonder it didn't work when I tried to do it before. My YouTube voice. I don't have a YouTube voice. Don't be silly. We gotta kill these mobs. It's personal. Collins back. Behold. Why the fuck is he not spamming? Well, there is your Uber, Uber Frost. 250 damage from range. The only pickle with that. Yeah. The only pickle with that one is that it won't work with the life steal, probably. That was my plan. Shall we try and finish this actual map? What? It's kind of cleave, but kind of not. Pick it up then if you want it. It's yours. Pick it up again. <laughs> go finish the map with your overpowered hero. Or go kill Chandras before she actually finishes the map. And we still lose. You son of a bitch. At least I baited it. Yeah, I can't really do too much more with my hero at the moment. Go buy some tomes or something. After you got Chandra's kill. It's alright, my golem can stop her. Gollum is actually killing her. Look at this. Holy crap. That's impressive. He's trying to run away from my Gollum. No, I don't think so. Oh, the Gollum. Pissed his pistol over her. Finished her off. That was a golden shower. <laughs> You do what you gotta do to win the game. Ah. I mean, look where it's coming from. Can you deny it? Can you explain otherwise? I don't think you can. This is the strongest golem that you can get in the game. He's near invincible. Look at him. 
pure power. It's level 5, 5 there. Level 10 infused. You're looking at peak performance right now. He's probably going to run out by the time he gets over here. Alright, it's time to win the map. That was my plan. Agreed. That was my plan. Let's get everything out of the way, like all the buildings and stuff like that. There he is. He's almost here. It's alright, I've got another golem, don't worry about it. doing so much damage. Quick! Double Golem! Next ah. Hold the line. Hold the line. Ah. <laughs> Thank you, King Perinol. Victory. Check out the red and green runes next game for more hero options. Hooray. Red and green runes, you say? You lose. You thought of that. That was my plan. Very well. Very well. That was my plan. He's slowly going somewhere. I don't know where, but. You can't kill him. He's too strong. GG. Left side takes you to free dwarf heroes. One could build towers. The right room takes you to a lot of normal heroes. Hmm. So how do you access them? Because it didn't give you a code, did it? As far as I saw. The pirate's code. You just walk there. You just take a walk. Take a walk! You were so focused on how to beat the map, you never stopped and asked yourselves why. It's true. To be fair, it's a very good map. You know, it's got like a nice tinge of jank in all the hard work that's clearly been put into it. Oh, I see. So there's a green rune and a red rune. It's a greeny rune. Takes you over to these heroes. Didn't we have one of those in one of the previous attempts. Someone was playing that. Minus one armor. I mean, how could you not pick this guy? He looks fun, doesn't he? Tech, TikTok, Ironheart. And Sergeant John Rager Muller. I was expecting him to have like 4,000 range or something. Kaboom. Can't target yourself there. Can he summon something? And then I can kaboom onto it. So he's basically got a way to off himself. Can't target your own units. Sag. Can't target friendly units. Sag. He's like a mountain king, but some sort of 
<laughs> is he a steampunk engineer? Was he a dwarf? What do you think? Or is he a gnome? Steampunk slam. He's got a 12 second stun. And he's got damage. For Kazmadar. Jeez. You think goblin, dear? He did sound like a goblin, yeah. Don't normally see goblins with that much armor. My fave streamy less than three Lego witty. Keep it up. Go go more wow though. You want more World of Warcraft? You want more cuck? You want to get cucked, do you? Thank you very much. You can hear it. You can hear it. Behold. Peak performance. It's the thing of beauty. That's my Karen manager, man character. So fresh. It's called Give Manager. And we got Sleepy Joe. Sleepy Joe. Thank you very much there for the stuff. <laughs> There's Hunter, my hunter. Yeah, Druid. That's me. So these are the extra, extra heroes. Oh my god. This guy is insane. Oh look, there's the Blade Master. We should pick the Blade Master. Rod the Stormcaller. He gave so many heroes. That's crazy. It would take you ages to cover all of this. Oh wow, look at the armor on this guy. See, this is what I wanted from Reforged. Is I just wanted the game, but with more options. So, you for example could pick your blade master and you could pick it with this armor this skin you would do something to unlock it something that wasn't just like win 50 games it was something that was actually challenging or something and then boom that's an option and you can clearly tell this is a blade master when you're fighting in a game you know you're going up against another blade master so it's not like the skin is too distracting or anything like that that's how you need to do a skin. You need to make it so it's clearly the model that you're looking at. So a player looks at that quickly and they go, identify it. They go, yes, that's a Blade Master. It's very clearly the Blade Master silhouette. The same weapon, the same flag, the same beads. It's just got a little bit of armor on him. Looks bloody cool, mate. In the name of Looks bloody cool. Alrighty. Master? What you want? Yes. GG. Yes, there we go. An epic conclusion to our fresh hero defense. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like the video if you haven't done to this point, because it's a bloody long video. So like the video, like the video, like the video. And twitch.tv slash witty and patreon.com slash witty warcraft. Patreon.com slash witty warcraft. Go put down $100, $100 each on patreon.com slash witty warcraft. Thank you very much for your time. I appreciate that.